think this is perfect audio. YouTube content. Thank you for clicking the play button. Today I'm going to try my best to demystify the act of biohacking. Whenever I meet someone that I haven't seen in a long time and um, they ask me what I'm doing and I start mentioning biohacking, they give me this look. The more this happens, the more I realize like perhaps it's a bit of a strange word. When you, you know, deconstruct the word, you take bio and then you add hacking, it just instantly reminds of something very science fiction. And actually, it's more like science non-fiction. If I had to deconstruct it in one tweet, then biohacking is the act of self-optimization through nutrition, exercise, and habit building. Those three things are the fundament of what the practice biohacking would consist of. We could stop the video there because I just broke it down for you. It gives us a happy ending. I'll wait, ask you to like and subscribe. But instead, let's take each element and break it down. After that, I'll break it down even more in subcategories. But in this video, I would like to just sort of break down the essence for me personally and what I think are the most important uh, elements. What I'm hoping is that people will see that biohacking in itself isn't that crazy and uh, advanced and it's actually rooted in a lot of daily habits that everybody of us has to deal with in one way or another. A short introduction from my perspective how I got into biohacking. Two and a half years ago I got introduced to Complete Food, Soyland. I decided to live on these foods for a whole year. Film everything, make photographs, turn it into a documentary to investigate what would happen to my life if I would drastically change my diet. I did that and it completely transformed me from how I think, how I interact with other people. It was massively. This drastic change pushed me into the direction almost by default into the world of biohacking. All right, so now we're gonna enter the first important topic, which is baseline. If you wanna start with biohacking, start optimizing yourself through nutrition, through exercise, habit building, you have to figure out what your baseline is because that's your starting point. That's where you build everything on top. That's your, your beginning. That's sort of your, your zero point. You have to figure out at what point do you perform optimally without any external input. Most of the time, figuring out where that point is is a very intuitive and personal thing, yet you can use a lot of tools such as monitoring your sleep. This for me was a key element in figuring out my baseline. So I monitored my sleep extensively up until the point that I knew exactly what time I have to go to bed and what time I should wake up. What I also figured out is what I should do before I go to bed and what I should do the moment I wake up to maintain the baseline. I'm going to go into this practice of going to bed and waking up in another video because it's quite elaborate. I'm not going to go into it. Right now we're just talking about the structure. So figuring out baseline, very important. As soon as you have figured out your baseline, you actually already start to build habits because you have a very specific thing that you do prior going to bed. And you have a very specific thing you do when you wake up. Those are routines. And the moment you start applying them on a daily basis, they become your new lifestyle. That's already a really big step into biohacking. A lot of people might think that biohacking starts with taking all these crazy pills and doing, you know, really hardcore diets. All of a sudden you, you know, become like a Terminator. And I mean, yeah, in a way that's true. I don't think eventually you can become Terminator. If you don't figure out your baseline and you're just going to start taking cognitive supplementation, uh, meditation, figure out some sort of an exercise plan, but you don't know what your baseline is, you're gonna add onto something that is very unstable. Let's say you wanna crank up your working process but the night before you went partying. The next day, what you could do is wake up early, take a whole bunch of caffeine and start working like a maniac, right? The thing is, is that you can't really derive any straight conclusions from that because you're not working from your baseline. You're working somewhere probably on a very low version of yourself because you didn't have the right sleep. You pushed your body the night before into a very specific direction. That's not your baseline. That's your recovery period. So it's really important that you figure out your baseline. I think I've said it enough. So as I mentioned before, tracking my sleep helped me tremendously to figuring out my own baseline. Another thing that I did as well is logging my food intake. Keep a diary of what you eat, when you eat, and how you feel before and after. Now, this is also a time-consuming process, but trust me, once you figure this out, patterns start to evolve on which you can build. You don't have to keep doing that. You don't have to keep tracking your sleep and have to figure out your food. You can do that if you like, but to 
enable yourself to figure out what your baseline is, you need to do that extensively for at least two months, I'd say. So track your sleep and track what you put in your body. What do you eat? What do you drink? Out of that will emerge some sort of a pattern in which you recognize, oh, wait a minute, that day I performed like shit and I was eating this and I went to bed like that and I woke up like that the next day. These things start to repeat. So it's a lot about self-reflection as well. It's about collecting this data about yourself and reflecting on it and see where the weak spots start to emerge. And trust me, they will emerge because nobody is perfect. And that's what biohacking is about, figuring out what your weak spots are and emphasize them in such a way that they don't become your weak spots anymore and you find your baseline. You see where we're going with this? Um, by the way, if, if, if at one point in this video you lose me, please put it in the comment because what I'm trying to do is to share the knowledge that I've obtained over the last two and a half years so you can figure out for yourself what works best for you. So once you've figured out how you should sleep, and you figured out what types of things make you thrive when you eat them, you figured out a pattern about yourself. Now, based upon this pattern, you're gonna change things. So you're gonna stop doing the things that make you go below your baseline. And you're gonna only maintain those things that keep you on your baseline. Now, the biohacking really starts working because now you figured out your baseline and we can start adding things on top of the baseline to improve your performance, your mood, pretty much you. The first thing that you might find interesting to look at is supplementation based on your dietary needs and based on the things that you want to achieve. Do you want to work on focus? Do you want to work on increasing your energy? Do you want to work on tweaking your mood? All those things are important to keep in mind when you start adding on top of your baseline because there's a whole bunch of things that you can start adding. And it doesn't make any sense to just do it all because you're gonna get lost in the whole soup of supplementation because trust me, there is a ton of things that one can take to enhance. So if you think in computer terms, then your baseline is the starting point. It's your empty desktop. There's no applications that are there. So when you add supplementation in whichever category that might be, you're going to basically install new software. Once that is installed, you want to try out how that works and keep track, see what happens in conjunction with your sleeping pattern, your food habits, and out of those three will emerge new data. So collect that data and figure out if it's working or no and adjust where needed. So the things that I talked about in this video for me are pretty much what I consider sort of the basics of biohacking. The essential that you should know before starting. What you notice is that actually right now, not that much has happened yet. The prime focus of what I'm trying to explain to you is that you have to figure out your baseline. Based on that, you can build habits. You can add things. It's all about keeping good track of what it is that you're doing. If it goes into the direction that you find pleasant, so it's trial and error with subtle steps and each step will add to a better version of yourself. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the routines that I've built, mainly my morning routine. It's something that I've built on for the last two and a half years and I'm still adding things to this. There's a specific set of things that I do before I go to bed and uh, the moment I wake up. And I'm gonna explain all about that in my next video. If there's anything that you find confusing, if there are things that you want to know more in detail, go into the comment section. If there are things that you disagree with as well, go into the comment section because I think biohacking in itself is a relatively new aspect of human behavior. But at the same time, it's something that we've been always doing as humans, optimizing yourself, increasing the potential that you have, figuring out how to perform better. It's sort of inevitable behavior of human beings. So see this as an open debate and I'm really curious about your thoughts and I hope that you are gonna see me in the next video. Bye-bye.